I think the first time I tried a monster, I was 13. And dude, I became a, a total fiend over it. Like I never had them hardly <laughs> because like my parents were like, don't drink energy drinks. But dude, yeah. the fact that they were like forbidden, the fact that they had so much caffeine, which was kind of a little <laughs> bit forbidden. Like I could have caffeine occasionally, but dude, when I went to my friend's house and we went to like Circle K, which was like the 7-Eleven, I would always go to the fridge, pick up one of those massive 24 ounce monsters with the oh, lid on yeah. it and just chug <laughs> that shit. And I was like a kid on crack, basically. Like I just fucking loved that stuff. Heck yeah, yeah dude. This is so bad. This is a memory that just came to my mind. This is so embarrassing. But like when I was a kid, I had one of those cans. I brought it home. And because I knew I wasn't going to get a monster for the next several weeks, probably at the earliest, I kept the can with the lid and I would screw it on really tight. And then when I really craved a monster, I would open the can lid and just smell the can. <laughs> Like, I was that fucking weird. Like, I would wow, smell wow, the wow. can to get a hit of it, basically. Like, oh, my God. Like, I would fucking love one of these right now. So, just, like, take a sniff. Because that, that, that smell in there lingers permanently. I mean, it is just oh, so man. strong. <laughs> that is hilarious. It does make you wonder what's in these things. <laughs> right, right. You got, you got kids smelling the leftover I mean, can. I mean, I just, I just wonder, like, how, how many things, oh. like... How many things were just more magical because I was a kid? For example, RuneScape. <laughs> oh my God, RuneScape, bro. I was playing that was just meth. I mean, that is just like, you just log in and I had a limited amount of computer time. Not initially, but our, my siblings and I fought over the computer so much that my parents finally just gave us an hour time limit each. But oh my yeah. God, dude, logging into RuneScape, like I just... It was just the most magical experience as a kid. It's still really fun today, but it wasn't magical. You know, yeah. it's it's not magical anymore as it used to be. So who knows? Maybe just so many things when you give it. It was just your first experience. Experiences with things are just magical. That was monster for me as well. I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, like I I had a I lived in like a neighborhood with like a a ton of kids, and we would we would play like manhunt every day and stuff like that. But one thing we all also did was runescape we all played runescape and it, it it was this was like before we all had cell phones and you know house phones were still like a thing so like if you wanted to talk to your buddies like you could get on runescape and like message all your friends and you know and then like you had kids at school that played so there's like school drama happening in game <laughs> you know like it, it was a very different feeling i think because of how we have so many more channels of of bonding and communication with people now that we're not like locked into the game to like be social as much some some people still are mm -hmm. but i think that was like a big aspect for me was talking to my friends like at school about like what we did on RuneScape the night before and like, oh, we're going to go in the, the wilderness tonight. We're going to death dot on the hill giant hill, you know? Like. Yep. Where did you grow up, know. if I may ask? Uh, in Florida. In okay. Florida. Yeah. So uh, it was it was summer all year, basically. Yeah, I feel like there's yeah. there certain areas. I mean, this is just based on the United States. I mean, I grew up in Oregon, so there... <sighs> I had fr like I was introduced to RuneScape from my fourth grade friend. He found it on Miniclip. I think I had already saw it on Miniclip, but he was like, "Bruh, you gotta play this." And so we would talk on the home phone together. I'd keep the home phone right next to me, and we'd like call on speakerphone, and we'd play together. Um, but I didn't really have many other friends that played RuneScape. It was very, oh, very man. like uncommon, but. Oh my God, I really envy those people, especially um, in like the UK. I know there was like people that just their whole class played RuneScape, like everybody. Yeah. Did. I remember going over to my friend's house, uh, some family like from my church at the time, like they they had kids around my age and I'd go over there and I, I tried to get them all addicted to RuneScape basically. I think I must have been like 10 or 11. <laughs> and their, <laughs> their daughter who was my age at the time, like I tried to, I just tried to get her to really like this game basically just so I could flex to her about how, <laughs> I mean, my, my account sucked ass, but I did have, you know, like full Addy, at one point, I had like a 100K cash stack. I needed her to get into the game so she could understand how impressive that was. 
And so that is I, impressive back in the day. It was. It, I thought it was impressive. And <laughs> and so I was trying to like teach her this game. And of course, she's a girl, so she just wants to play like Sims and you know play with her dolls and shit. And I'm like, no, you need to play this. Like, this is so much fun. Look, you can cook. You know, I'm like showing her on tutorial. I'm like, you can make fucking bread. Like, isn't that awesome? Like, oh, and, that is and funny. She she just really didn't get into it. But um, so I couldn't ever fully illustrate how fucking much of a baller I was in the game. So depressing. Ah, that yeah. is sad. I remember the first time my buddy, my buddy's the first person that showed me this game, and he's like, "There's this game out, and like, it's really cool. We need to try it." And we went on Tutorial Island, and this is the old, this is like the RuneScape classic Tutorial Island. And there's just like, outside of the kitchen, there's like some rats or whatever. And I remember we're like attacking these rats. And I swear, we must have hit like a thousand zeros. It was so lame. I remember being, looking at my buddy like, this is the game you wanted to play? Like, this, <laughs> this is awful. And I don't even know if we made it off Tutorial Island. I was so bored. I was like, I I'm not, I'm not feeling this at all. I'm done. And, um... A while later, I don't even know how much time had passed, but my parents had a friend over to the house, so an adult, okay? And this guy's like a big nerd. And he's like, you play video games? And I was like, yeah, I play video games. And he's like, I got to show you something. And he gets on the computer, and he's like an old man, so I'm like, okay, what are you going to show me, old man? And he logs into this RuneScape game, and I'm immediately like, to myself, rolling my eyes, like, oh, I've I've seen this. This is the rat game. Like, <laughs> big whoop. Anyways, he logs in, he's got this cool looking blue sword all right off the bat i'm like hey, that's cool i didn't know there was i didn't know there was like blue stuff that's cool and he one hits up <laughs> and i i at that point i was like blown away i had no idea you could do that he hit like a what is a bear's hp 19 i don't know yeah. it was crazy i was mind blown i i <laughs> called my buddy up that night i'm like dude we gotta try this runescape thing again i just saw this dude one hit a bear it blew my mind and after that i i was like hooked it's so true yeah. though. you see one giga chat out there and it changes your perspective entirely yep. on this game <laughs> yeah dude uh, i remember i would grind on um varrock thieves to uh get my training up as soon as i hit a certain point in my account it was probably around 40 attack and maybe like 55 ish strength or something i would I'd start using my my rune long sword, the five tick thing, you know, just like the oh, shitty yeah. shitty sword. But the, at, to me, the rune long sword was incredible, and I would grind on these thieves right south of uh, Aubrey's magic shop. There was just one thief <laughs> that spawned, so I just wait for him, and <laughs> and uh, I just keep killing him over and over, and uh, that's how I trained. And I remember I would occasionally see a level one hundred. And to me, I'm like, that kept me going, you know, seeing the people that really took the game serious. 